Welcome back to another episode of the Washington SXM Podcast as always. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I watch up a video. You don't know that work already? Help the algorithm. So, let's listen to this speech given by the President of Ghana at the BOMA, car, the Boma Summit. Listen to it and then we get back, get back to me. Excellencies, Heads of State, Deputy Chairperson of the African Union Commission and Commissioners, Distinguished Participants of the BOMA, on this auspicious Africa Integration Day, I'm joining you to participate in the dialogue on the theme, Taking Stock of the African Century, which is an apt theme for the times in which we find ourselves. As the world confronts its third major economic and financial crisis this century, one can inquire philosophically about what will be left of this century for us to inherit. I believe the time has come for the continent of Africa and the entire world to think very hard about the models and instruments we've created for dealing with economic and financial crises. In my capacity as the African Union Champion for Financial Institutions, I'm called upon to ask fundamental questions about the continental architecture for managing economic crisis. It has become apparent in recent times that Africa needs to accelerate the realization of its envisaged institutions for financial crisis resolution, such as the Africa Monetary Fund. Africa's rise is dependent on how effectively we build and entrench these continental buffers and cushions. But as the 42nd President of the United States of America, President Clinton has often said and reiterated at this BOMA, there is a limit to what any one part of the world can do to defend against a truly global crisis. The global system for addressing economic downturn needs repair and fine-tuning so that they can be more proactive and equitable, especially for those regions of the world that continue to bear the greatest brunt of these downturns, such as Africa. In the world where conflict in one part of the world immediately disrupts economies far away from the epicenter of the conflict, and when a virus is able to wipe away decades of growth from an economy, we cannot assign responsibility for managing crises to domestic actors alone. We cannot leave small economies exposed to these vagaries of the international system to their fate, insist that they suffer the consequences alone. The international process for supporting such countries has to be fairer and more robust. I share the view of the optimists who say that this is Africa's century. However, I fear that the structural and recurrent flaws of the international economic order will rob us of our prize if we do not work harder to make an impact on its course and character. That is why we must hasten the process of continental integration. Continental unity and collective agency is the only path to building influence to push successfully for the reform of the multilateral economic and financial systems that affect our ability to respond to crises that threaten our rise as a continent. When we think of Africa before our individual countries, we're not just being pan-Africanists, we're being true nationalists. Because what makes Africa stronger will make each of our individual countries stronger and more prosperous. It is time for those of us who believe in continental integration to give enthusiastic support to continental decisions and inspire confidence and integrity in the structural organs of the African Union. Our people deserve no less and the dream of prosperity will then be within our grasp. Distinguished participants of the BOMA, I wish you fruitful deliberations, and may God bless Mother Africa and us all. 
I thank you for your attention. So, this was a well spoken um, speech. There's not, there's not much more for me to say because everything he said, I agree with, and everything I've been saying, he said in this speech. So, there's not much to say. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. You don't know. Peace. One love. Boom.